Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jenny Time with me, Jenny from Jenny Time. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you my go to makeup look. So let's start. <laughs> The first thing I always do is moisturize my face and my favorite moisturizer of all time is this Clinique um, Moisture Surge. It's really good for under makeup. Um, it's actually meant to be worn under makeup and it just leaves my skin so soft every time I use it. I love it so much. So just rub that into my face like I just did there. Also, excuse my hair, it's like a complete mess and there's bits and pieces sticking out everywhere. It's just thrown back because I've been working all morning. The next thing in my go-to makeup is this, what is up with that? I don't know what this is, but it's like a little drip. But anyway, it's the new, not so new, I don't think it's that new anymore, but it is the Bare Minerals Pro, or Bear Pro, excuse me, um, Performance Wear Liquid Foundation, and it is, I'm pretty sure it's full coverage, but I absolutely love it because it feels so light on my face, but still giving the coverage that I want. Um, and I use it in the shade Satin. I take my wet beauty blender, or damp, not wet, um, pump a little bit on my hand and then just put it on my face. After I put all of the makeup on my face, um, I'm in foundation, not makeup. Um, I take some concealer and I use the Maybelline Anti-Age Erase Concealer in the shade 01 Light. And I just put it on under my eyes. I just got an email <laughs> under my eyes and then on places that I have spots if I have them um, that day it all kind of depends on how my face is feeling that day <laughs> um, and then I just usually using the underneath side or the top side it just <laughs> depends on how I'm feeling that day, I just pat it in the same as Next, I'm going to put powder on my face. I'm gonna use the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Powder. Um, this is a replace for my Catrice Color Correct Powder. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I was obsessed with that powder. Um, but they discontinued it, so I needed to find a new powder. And I decided to still go with Catrice, because I absolutely love the powders. Um, so I really like this one. And I'm just going to take this big brush from Hema. 
um, which I got in London in February. And I'm just going to powder up my face. I just spotted my garden in the, my garden in the next door. I just spotted my cat in the garden next door. She's just sitting and chilling in the sun. It's been a weirdly mild October here, like weirdly mild, as in it's been kind of cold, but like it's the 22nd of October and it's sunny. Like that's unheard of in Ireland. Not unheard of, but like, yeah, it hasn't been half as like, wintry or even autumny as it normally is in Ireland. Um, I think it's because we had such a late winter, as in we had snow at the end of April. So I think it's because of that. But like, it's weirdly nice. Um, and then it's like, the weather is just constantly changing, as in like, one day it's like, 14 degrees, 15 degrees, which is relatively nice. Um, and then other days it's like two or three degrees. But they could be like a day apart. Like the weather here just doesn't want to make up its mind. Okay, then next I'm going to be doing my bronzer. And I'm going to use the Hula bronzer. Um, and take the Real Techniques contour brush and put it on my cheeks. Put it on my here. What's that called? Like, is that your cheek? Yeah. It would be your cheek, wouldn't it? Next, I'm gonna be putting blush on. Um, I always put blush on. I know a lot of people don't, but I just think it gives me a nice color to my cheeks. So I'm gonna be putting the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Brush, bl blush, um, Peach Beach. I think that's what it's called. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques Cheek Brush from the Sam and Nick collection. Um, moving on, I am going to be putting a little bit of highlight on my cheekbones and I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer and I'm going to put a little bit on Then I move on to my eyebrows and for my eyebrows I use the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil in the shade 3 and then I set them with the Ready Set Brow by Benefit. I love this combo and I find that it always works well for me.
There is one eyebrow done. Um, sorry that I'm like over here, but I always find it really hard to like see my. I always find it really hard to see from back here or like here. So I just like turn to face the mirror. Okay, I'm pretty happy with them. I feel like they're pretty even compared to some days I just can't get them even, like at all. Um, and now I'm just gonna set them with the Ready Set Brow. Now they are set, so I can move on to my eyes. And at the moment, I am loving the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Um, I absolutely love the colors of this. But also, I just find that my go-to look, I always turn to this for three shades in it. So we have this one here, which is Cashew Chew. Then I use this one over here, which is Mocha. And then on days I'm feeling like I want it a little bit darker, I go into Malted up here in the corner. And then finally to top it off, I switch between two of the shimmers. So I often use this one here, Satin Sheets, which I adore. Or I use this one here, molasses chip. I think that's what it says. This one here. Um, so I switch between them. Sometimes I even use them both. Add a little shimmer on top of this shimmer. Um, today I'm gonna be using satin sheets because I adore that one. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be using, those colors. All right, so I always start off by taking my Inglot 6SS brush and using Cashew Chew as my base for my eyes. And then after I apply Cashew Chew all over my eyelids, I take the PS, which is a Pennies slash Primark brush in 220. Um, I'm sure you can find lots of brushes that look like this. And I go into Mocha. And I put that in the crease of my eyelid and then on like the outside of my eyelid. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, and that's just to kind of darken up the eyes a little bit. I really love this color. After 
I put on mocha in the areas that I just did, which as I said is like the um, eyelid, or the crease, not the eyelid, and then the outer corners. I then take this brush here from Real Techniques. As you can see, I love Real Technique brushes. <laughs> see, as half my brushes are from them. I take this one, which is the base shadow brush, and I go into satin sheets, and then I put that over like the eyelid in the places that I didn't put the brown, or er, mocha, see? And it just gives like a nice kind of color and like a contrast to it, and a lovely shimmer. Sometimes the I, the I end up putting the shimmer too far out to the point where I don't want it. So I just take kind of the same-ish brush, which I think is actually literally the same brush. Um, and I go back into Mal Malta. What the hell is Malta? Um, mocha. And I just pat this over the area. I love it. See, that's how I do the eyes, and then I use the Makeup Forever Smoky Stretch Mascara as my mascara. Moving on, the next step I do is lips. And my favorite go-to lip product is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Cool Girl. I love this. It's a dark shade, so it's perfect for autumn. Um, and I absolutely love, love this. To finish off the video, this is the final look. Um, it's just a nude-ish look. I love it so much. Um, uh, I just, yeah, I just think it suits me. And it looks good with legit every outfit I wear. <laughs> so that's a plus. But Let's just finish the video here because this video seems to have gone on forever. 
This has taken me way longer than I usually do my makeup. I think it's because I'm chit-chatting with you. Um, but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos of me. Bye!